Separating video and audio in DaVinci Resolve. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, so let me show you how. First up, we're going to jump into the Media tab by clicking on Media across the bottom here. And then we just need to browse to the location where our file is. So I've set up a shortcut on the left for my download. If you wish to set up a shortcut, right click on an empty space and add a new location. I'm going to double click on this file here. And if I hit play, you can see it's a video with audio attached. If I right click, there's an option to extract audio. If I give that a click, DaVinci Resolve will create a separate audio file from that video. So it's removed the video and it's just an audio file on its own. The original video will remain untouched, but we just have a separate audio file. That audio file can then be imported into the project. Now what's really cool about this method, if I right click, I can open file location, which will take me to my downloads. And as you can see, DaVinci Resolve has actually created a physical WAV audio file. So if I wanted to import this into a media player or wherever else, it's purely an audio file with no video attached. You can go and do whatever you want with that. Next up, if you don't want to actually create a WAV file, you can just import either the video or audio separately on the edit page. So here we are on the edit page right now, and I've got this clip in my media pool. If I double click once again and hit play, you can see it's a video with audio attached. Now, as I've double clicked, you can see that I have my preview window open here. If I click anywhere within this and drag down onto the timeline, I've got both the video and the audio. Let me just delete that. If I double click once again, hover my mouse over the preview, down here you can see there's these two options. If I click on this one on the left, the little film strip, drag that onto my timeline, we will just get the video. If we open that up once more, click on the waveform, drag that onto my timeline, and we'll just get the audio. So you can choose whether you want both video and audio, just video, or just audio. But there's an even quicker way. If I drag from my media pool onto my timeline, once again, we'll get both video and audio. If I hold the shift key, click, and then drag, we'll just get the audio. And if I hold the alt key, click, drag, we'll just get the video. But what if you've already added the audio and video to your timeline like so? How do you separate it that way? The easiest way, holding down the Alt key on your keyboard, click on either the video or the audio, release the Alt key and you can see that only the audio will be selected in my instance and then I can click and drag to move that to wherever I want. Or alternatively, I can delete the audio without deleting the video. I'm just gonna add this back onto my timeline. As you can see, it's all linked. If we click on this icon here, this little chain icon, that will turn off linked selection. So then I'm able to just click and drag on each one as I need to. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut of Control, Shift and L to turn on or off the linked selection. So with it on, both will move together and with it off, we'll be able to move them independently. But I personally prefer to leave it on and then just hold the Alt key, click, and then drag and do it that way. Now, what you may note is that we've got these little time codes saying that these are out of sync. If I was to click on my video and move, the audio would still move with it. So what you may wish to do is to unlink them. If you right click, you can see you've got this option here, link clips and that's ticked. If we want to unlink it, we just give that a click or we can use the keyboard shortcut of Control, Alt and L, which is what I'm gonna do to unlink those clips. And now we can move them completely independently of each other. And again, we can delete one without worrying about the other one. And there you go. That's a couple of ways of separating audio and video in DaVinci Resolve.